Yo people, we're back with another hardware review and we are back with Joytech and this time we're looking at the Exceed NC starter kit. It comes with the Notch Core Tank. Now we've already reviewed the Notch Core Tank, we did it on the Espion Silk, so we're not going to touch on it that much in this review. But if you want a bit more of an in-depth look at the Notch Core Tank, I will leave the link down in the descriptions for the Espion Silk review so you can have a little bit more of an in-depth look of the Notch Core Tank. So what we're going to do today is have a little look around the packaging, show you everything you get inside, we'll show you how the tank and the mod works and then we'll do the pros and the cons and the bits that we've missed. So the packaging is the same sort of packaging Joytech comes out with, it tells you that it's the Exceed NC kit, picture of your mod and then Joytech at the bottom. You've got Joytech on that side and it also shows you all the social media sites that they've got on that side. On the back you've got your scratch and sniff, don't vape in a bin, and you've also got a list of all the contents. Now if you just look above my shoulder just there, it'll show you everything you do get in the box itself. Right, let's have a little look at the mod. It's a, a pen design or a tube sort of mod, it is a 2300 mAh built-in battery. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll go from the top to the bottom. It's a 510 drip tip, you can um, interchange it. If you've got your own and you want to put it on. Very, very simple uh, filling mechanism. It's got a little arrow. You just push it to the side and you've got a kidney well there. It is a small kidney well. It is a 2.5 mil tank that I've got, but the TPD compliant one will be 2 mil. You're not losing out that much. Very, very simple airflow on it. Uh, it moves from either side to side and it does lock off and that's on both sides. So we have to talk about the coils because they are very interesting coils. It is the notch core uh, coils. Now, I'll stick another little picture up there so you can see. On either side, you'll see there are gold-plated connect connectors, um, and then your wick goes through the middle. It is a rebuildable uh, coil. So you've got your, your coil in the middle. So let's just have a little look at the deck. You'll see there's uh, gold-plated cradles in the middle, and what you do is you just sit the connectors inside the cradles, and then stick a little bit of e-juice in between it. Make sure you prime it on either side of where the, the wick is, and also some in the middle. Stick your top back on, fill it up, leave it for five minutes, give it a couple of dry pulls and you are ready to go. Now, like I said, it is rebuildable and very, very simple. Only thing you've got to do is take the wick out, stick the coil back into the, um, the tank itself, give it a couple of dry um, runs on it, give it a good scrape, then run it under the tap, re-wick it, stick it back in, prime it and you are ready to go. So that is basically your tank. Right, the mod itself. It has actually got two modes to this. Now, when it's turned off, it has to be turned off for you to be able to change your modes. So I'll just make sure that this is turned off. There we are, we are turned off. So, if you, as you can see, in the, you've got your fire button there. If you hold your fire button in for five seconds, what it'll do is it will glow up orange, or it should do. There we go, and it flashes orange. Now that is constant voltage mode. Now for that to work, you have to then turn it on, which is five clicks, and then you are ready to go. So then you have to turn it back off if you want to change the mode. There we go, that's turning it off. Hold it back in. There we go, and it should then, after five seconds, there we go, and it glows up white and flashes. Again, you have to turn the mod back on again. Five clicks on and you are ready to go. And what that is, that's a constant drain. So it'll just as your battery goes down, it'll just drain out and it'll, whatever the battery is, is whatever it'll vape at and you eventually just won't be able to vape at all. So it has got two modes on it. Um, if you have a little look at the bottom, you've got uh, the kite marks, you've also got um, don't vape in a bin and you've also got a bit of venting for your batteries. It does tell you Joytech at the bottom. And then on the back, you have got your charging port. There we go, it's at the back. Nice clicky button. So that's roughly around your mod and the tank itself. So let's do the pros and cons and the bits that we've missed. So the pros and cons of the bits that we missed, I always miss something. Now the battery indicator, that's what I've missed. When you press the fire button, um, the light stays on afterwards. Now if the light stays on constantly, that means you've got a fully charged battery. As it decreases, it starts to flicker. Obviously when it's flickering a lot, that means you need to stick it on charge. That simple. Right then, let's do the cons first. I've only got two cons for this. So the first one's about the tank. And I did mention this in the Espion Silk review. Um, now, it's a very simple filling mechanism. You just push it to the side. And then you've got, obviously, your, your little kidney well there. Now, the kidney well is primed to get in airlocks. So if you've got either a big uh, juice bottle end, 
and you put it in, it starts getting an airlock and you can't get your juice into it. And it is a little bit of a nightmare. I would have thought that Joyce had managed to come up with two little dots or something at the back to just sort of like get that airflow in there to stop that from happening. But because it's such a small kidney well, it's not happening. You're getting a little bit of um, an airlock when you're putting your e-liquid in. So yeah, that's the only one really about the tank itself. Now... A number of reviewers have mentioned this as well. The other con that I've got to it is it's a slightly underpowered. Now, it's a 2,300 mAh battery. It's a 45 watt uh, maxed out device. With this notch core, it feels like it could just do it a little bit more. Now, it's decent flavour, decent clouds, but it's, it's not quite a warm vape. It's a very cold vape on it. Um, so I think it could have done with just a little bit more. So let's go on to the actual pros of this. We'll start with the tank. I love the fact that you can rebuild it, and I love these notch core um, coils. They're really nice. And if somebody's just starting to get into rebuilding, it's a nice one to start with. Uh, like I said to you, just take the wick out. Stick the coil back in, uh, give it a couple of dry burns, give it a little bit of a scrape, run it under tap, re-put the wick in, um, and then put it back into your device, prime it up, and you are ready to go. Um, also, it's it's good for the people who know what they're doing as well. It's uh, it's not like a stock coil where you're just going to have to throw it away, you've got a chance of re-wicking it. I do like that. Now, the flavour on this isn't too shabby either, and, and the clouds are for days. Clouds for days. And the flavour, like I said, is not too shabby. Now, I'm using a little bit of uh, Daily Vapes TV. What's up, vapors? Um, I'm using a bit of Blaz. Uh, this is Blaz Melon. Can't get it over here in the UK just yet. Um, but I know Nick's working on it to get over here. But it is really, really nice. And the other, the berry, is really good as well. Uh, but yeah, I've got some of that in here. And it is really, really nice. But like I did say, it is a little bit of a cold vape. Um, right, let's get on to the, the mod itself. It has got, like I said, two modes to it. And remember, you have to turn it off to swap the modes over. So you hold it in for five seconds. Um, just say so it glows up uh, orange. That means it is the constant voltage. Um, and then you have to click it five times to use it. Then if you want to change mode, you click it five times, turn it off. And then hold it in for five seconds. It will glow white. Um, and then it's like in sort of a bypass mode. It's just going down on the battery as it is. It's not to do with the voltage. Just going down as it is. Um, so, yeah. I like the look of it. It feels nice in your hand. Who's it going to be aimed at? It's going to be aimed at to somebody who was just coming, um, you know, like sort of off the mouth to lung. And they were trying to to maybe step up to a bit of direct along, then this is this one's for you. Also, if somebody was trying to start rebuilding themselves, it's a good chance to do it as well with a notch core. Also, somebody such as myself, who wants just something that can stick in the pocket, in the car, in the office, or if you're just taking it out for, if when you're going out for a beer or something like that, it is well worth it. It's very, very light. It's a 2,300 mAh battery. When I was using the tank with the Silk Espion, I was roughly running it at 25 watts. So you're going to get a good day out of this battery easy. I have. Um, obviously, if you're chain vaping, you're not going to, but but I have. So, yeah, all in all, I quite like it. Big thumbs up from little bro. So all the details for Joytech will be down in the descriptions. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. The subscribe button's just in the corner. Give a little press to give it that new magic number. And there's one last thing to say, people. Keep them juices flowing. <laughs>